Hi all, my name is Calvin Hollywood and I'm still from Germany and I'm still speaking a bad English. But um, I guess you will understand all and this video tutorial um, is for uh, doing some kind of compositing. I like to add a new background behind this uh, person. I like to add this background and uh, I like to add this background without losing one hair. You see here some flying hairs, this hair, this hair, uh, this hair, and I d don't like to lose one of them. Of course, you can try to use a path here or color range or um, uh, doing compositing with channels, but uh, believe me, you w will lose some hairs if you use channels or something else. And I like to show you a kind of trick. You don't have to mask out hairs here. You have to work with other techniques. And for this technique, I like to show you, you don't need much time. You need maybe around five or six seconds. And uh, how this is uh, going to be work, I will tell you. I will show you. So keep your eyes open. I will start now. You can count how uh, much time I will need for that. Okay, you ready? First I hide this layer with a black mask. I set uh, this layer to multiply and I like to paint back the new background. Whoops! Done! And if you have uh, some time, you can uh, also blur the background a bit to give uh, the compositing some, uh, some deep here. So let's take a look at the flying hair and I told you, you don't lose one hair with this kind of technique. See? And it's very easy. I guess uh, some of you already know that kind of technique, but I'm very sure that uh, many of you didn't know this kind of technique. And it's very simple, it's very easy. I will... Uh, tell you now uh, a slow version of that. Um, first you have to set this layer to multiply and look uh, what happened. Everywhere where the original background is brighter than the new one, the new background will affect here. Everywhere where the person are darker than the new background, the new background will hide. They don't affect here. And uh, with uh, this uh, technique, um, you can add a new background. But there is a negative point. You just can use this kind of technique if you have a very bright background or a white background with a person with dark hairs. If you have a blonde person and a white background, this technique uh, doesn't work. If you have uh, better lines, uh, not hairs, if you have uh, maybe a body or uh, legs or something else, you can, of course, use the path. But uh, on hairs, you can uh, use this kind of uh, technique with blend modes. Um, uh, for my uh, compositings, I use the combination of a path and for hairs, I use this kind of technique. But normally I uh, take pictures and uh, on a gray background and on a gray background uh, it doesn't matter if the person have blonde hairs or black hairs, uh, it will work. But uh, how this works I like to show you in a new tutorial. Okay, I forgot to adding the mask here and uh, we paint back the person. In the way before, I used a black mask because the effect or the technique uh, looks uh, more spectacular with the black mask and painting back the background. But uh, you can also use a white mask here. Okay, and that's it. You see, it's very simple, it's very easy. And uh, let me know if you like this technique. Let me know if you uh, like to see more video tutorials. Give me some energy to do more tutorials for you and uh, I will hope you like that and I will hope we see us in the next video tutorial. In the next video tutorial I like to show you um, how you can uh, do compositing with a grey 
background in the, orig in the original file and uh, if you can add there a new background. Okay, that's all. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.